I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Apple. With Canadian postal workers going on strike on a rotating basis in four cities across the country today and perhaps widening that out, this has got the uh, Canadian Federation of Independent Business worried what it could all mean for Canadian small business operators going toward the holiday sales season. Dan Kelly, the president of the CFIB, says it could pose some problems from well, a payments basis for Canadian small business and also shipping packages to customers. They still send a lot of checks in the mail. They pay each other often through the mail. Businesses often invoice other firms and then send a paper check back in return. Increasingly with online sales, small and medium-sized firms are, are sending packages through Canada Post. As we ramp up to the holiday season, this becomes an even more critical issue. This is a real choke point for many businesses. Half of their income comes from sales around the holiday season. And if Canada Post is a roadblock to making that happen, gosh, that's a lot of pain on SMEs across the country. Kelly says it's a double-edged sword for the postal workers. If they're on strike, that means they're potentially forcing small business operators to look for alternative ways to either get paid or ship their packages, and that could dent their business going forward as the small business operators move toward competitors of the postal office. So, is the pot stock bubble bursting? Some think so, because over five days, actually dating back to before the legalization of cannabis sales went into place in this country last Wednesday, we've seen the pot stocks tumble on the TSX. Some of them down more than 20%, some down more than 25% over a five-day time frame. Now, keep in mind that uh, just before the legalization date happened last week, some of these were at record highs and the canopy growth, for example, is still up by more than 300% over a 12-month time frame. But analysts are worried that uh, if, in fact, the cannabis producers can't get enough sales generated, well, that will likely have some questioning their sky-high market valuations. And the Canadian dollar today hit a five-week low. Looney likely going to be volatile heading into Wednesday of this week when we'll have the Bank of Canada decision on interest rates. Our central bank is expected to raise interest rates one more time by a quarter of 1%, which would be the fifth rate hike over the past uh, year and a half for the central bank, tightening mortgage rates. And if you've got a variable rate mortgage, that's going to affect you. But at the same time, central bank might be more cautious on its outlook because of some recent economic data, which has been slightly below forecast. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.